Hello, V people, and welcome to episode one of a new series that I'm working on, where I'm going to explain all of the states of Pupistan, kind of like a Geography Now episode, I love their stuff. Um, I actually tried this like one or two years ago with Nafai, where we did special districts as well, but it was very unprofessional, also yes, I am on the floor right now, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to see my face. It's going to be alphabetical order, which means the first state is going to be Block Grid. So the flag of block grid, as you can see, consists of 13 stripes alternating between white and other colors. Now the white represents the quartz itself, and the different colors are the different materials on the grid, so it's like an abstract representation of the state's most notable feature, as you can see. For example, the brown is the wood, blue is water, green is plants, and so on. These three stripes here at the bottom, you can actually maybe recognize from the flag of Vidakia, as that is where its flag came from, it's just the bottom part of the flag of the entire state. Block grid is located in the center east of the country and consists of seven districts. Its capital is East Grid, located here, and it borders Park, Space, Useless, Pyramids, Rich Road, and Hub. Its border with Pyramids actually used to be disputed for a long time, as the state claimed the entirety of Pyramids for itself. As you can also see here on the map, Block Grid contains parts of Tumdaki and the Swag Zone as well as the entirety of Idakia, which means it contains a total of three special districts. You also have the Panhandle area here, which is a regular district, but they don't know if they want to be Tumdak or not, so usually on maps like this they're shown with a dotted line. Um, it also contains, for example, the Tumdak capital of Ijomu right here, and most of the Monopoly board here in the north. Terrain-wise, the state is very flat with some minor hills here in the south towards Idakia and the Swag Zone, and especially here the northeast of the state is just called the Plains by Tomdax as it's a very flat area. Blockery is known for many things, including British people, and the stuff that comes with it. Which is why many people stereotype Blockridians as being very aggressive, probably have a few knives on hand, and eating terrible food. Now, this is partially true as Blockrit has the highest knife crime rate in the country, but it's actually been improving a lot in recent years, especially since the end of the Unionist regime, as the new government has been doing a lot to make sure the state becomes safer. When it comes to food, many people consider Blockridian food to be the worst in the country, with them eating some British classics such as beans on toast and undercooked bacon. However, in comparison to that, Tomdak food is seen as rather good, especially the Idakian variations. The regional dish of Tomdaki is called Hiyita soup, which is a kind of sweet bean soup made with the native Hiyita beans, but it has been replaced by imported beans, so that's another point for the British, I guess. Historically, Blockrid was a very anti zamdu state, as you can see here. It was one of the few Unionist states in the country, and under the rule of Niklas Stein, who was a member of the Unionist party, Blockrid tried its best to erase from that culture and end Swagian presence in Pupistan, particularly in the Swag Zone. They also helped a lot of terrorist groups such as the ELO and the NLO, but eventually the Conservative Party won in Blockrid. And not just that, they did such a good job at rebuilding Tundaki that it actually won the regional election in Tundaki and Idakia. So, I've previously mentioned the dispute with pyramids, but as you can see here on this old map, this is from the colonial period. Pyramids was shown as disputed between the then states or subdivisions of Blockrid and Flag Street, which yes, did own all of Cube Gallery as well. And for a short period of time, Pyramids was a part of Blockrid. Now, of course, they quickly became their own state, but the Unionist government at Blockrid never moved past that and always wanted to integrate Pyramids again. This was a major point of contention, and there were several battles fought, especially during the Civil Wars, where Blockrid fought against Pyramids a lot of times. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed episode 1 of Pubistani States Explained, and I can now finally sit on a chair again, goodbye.